All right, so for our next assignment, we are going to make a birdhouse. And um, I had started the videos and I had them made and I haven't uploaded them because my computer crashed. So at this point, I'm going back and trying to remake and talk you through um, all the things that I did in terms of um, building the birdhouse rather than going back and making all new videos. Um, by the time I would get the videos made, you guys would probably have the project finished in class. So, um, as I said, we're going to make a ceramic birdhouse. Um, I do want it to have an opening at both ends. Um, I'm going to give you templates, a pattern to um, cut out slabs and assemble it by. And then from there, you're going to be as creative as you want to be in terms of your decorations and so forth. So, this is one that um, I made a few years back. It's a little more simple. I do have some other examples where I've uh, added a few more things to it. Um, but like I say, I'll encourage you to be as creative as you'd like to be. So the templates that I've made for you guys um, are here in class. There is a front back piece. You'll need two of those. Then there is a piece that says sides. Those are your short sides and you'll need two of those. Then there are two pieces that you'll need which are your roof panels and then there is one bottom piece. So what you're going to do is cut out all your pieces, simple slab construction. You're going to let your um, slabs, your pieces get leather hard and then you're going to start to assemble it. So the order that you want to assemble it in and the way that I designed it is you're going to start with a front back piece and once that piece is leather hard you're going to lay one of them flat. You're going to take your side pieces, this is a smaller piece, and you're going to build on top of that front back piece, okay? Not on the outside edge, but on top of it. So what you'll do is you'll build this piece, you'll cross hatch and slip it, you'll put it on, you'll put a coil in the seam to reinforce it. That'll give it a little bit of strength while you're working on it. Then you're going to go ahead and take the second side piece and do the same thing on the other side. Again, put the coils in the seams as you attach and build each piece. That's going to give it some strength. Now once you've gone ahead and you've got those two sides built, you're going to take your second front back piece and it is going to go on top. And again, you're going to cross hatch and slip the back side edges and paint them with slip. And then you're going to go ahead and put the coils in the seams and you'll attach it. So basically what you're going to end up with is your box built, um, all four sides of the box built. After you get all four sides of the box built, then you're going to take your roof panel piece and you're going to go ahead and put on one roof panel. Now there's going to be overhang both on the front and the back. So when you line this up, try to over, um, make it so you have equal overhang on the front and the back. So you'll go ahead and you'll attach the first roof piece again, cross hatch, slip, put coils in all the seams all the way around. And then you'll take your second roof panel piece and you'll do exactly the same thing and you'll attach it. You'll be able to reach up through the bottom to put the coils in the seams because you haven't closed it up just yet. Once you have all those pieces assembled, the last piece is your bottom piece. And that is the one where you'll cross hatch and slip all four sides and then go ahead and attach it. You won't be able to put coils in the seams, so make sure you do join it really well, okay? So, that's initially, or I should say, the order to go ahead and to build your birdhouse. So this is the one that I've been building through the videos that I lost because my computer crashed. Um, I'm going to check with the IT person here at school, see if there's any way of saving or retrieving what's on that hard drive. Because um, I haven't been able to get the computer to restart to where I can access anything. So this is the one that I built. It was the basic birdhouse. And I'll come a little closer to the camera. And so what I did on the first side is I just cut a simple hole. I used a bottle cap for that, um, so I get a nice round hole. And then I've built a little platform or a perch for the birds, and then I put a little canopy over the top of it. Haven't done anything to the outside edges yet. Um, what I did do to the bottom is I took a Sureform, which is almost like a little cheese grater. Um, looks just like this here. And I basically shaved the edges after I put my bottom on just to give it a beveled edge and I thought it kind of made it um, a nice look on the bottom. So then what I did for this side here is I have cut out a door shape and I saved the shape so that I can attach it as a door. So um, I'm going to clean that up. 
I'm going to cross hatch and slip it so it looks like the door is kind of open. And then I'll continue on from there. Um, I may go ahead and put another canopy over the top. Okay. Um, and then also I'm going to put a handle on the top. So my handles, when I do them, I just take my slab and I get a bottle cap. And this one is one inch wide. So I made a slab, cut it one inch wide. And then I just take the bottle cap and I just form it around it to get kind of a nice round shape. I use a knife and I trim it. And then what I'll be doing when this dries a little bit more is taking the cap out and then trimming it down a little bit more because I think that's a little bit higher than I'd like. Um, and then cross hatching and slipping and attaching that so that I have a nice handle. So if I want to hang it on a tree, a limb, or uh, a wire or something outside. So at this point I'm just continuing on to work on mine. I'm trying to be creative. I'm trying to add as many cool little features as I can. I may put some windows on the outside. Um, I may try and add texture to the roof or uh, you know just whatever I can think of to try and make it look like a cool little birdhouse. Um, you could take a theme. Maybe you want to make yours look like a gingerbread cottage. Maybe you want to go ahead and make it look like a hobbit house. Um, it's entirely up to you, but just be creative. Um, make sure your construction, your craftsmanship is nice, neat, clean. Um, do your best to make it well made um, and continue on with that. Um, I may make a short little video when I finally finish this just to show the finished piece. Um, and if I do, or if I am able to recover those videos of actually the building process, then obviously I'll add those later at, at some point. Um, but that is the next assignment to make a super cool little birdhouse and um, have fun with it, be creative, and um, use your imagination. Uh, you're welcome to do searches online for birdhouses, whether they're ceramic or not, and um, borrow ideas from other people to incorporate into your design if you choose. Okay, see you in the next video.